Hello friends, welcome to video series on questions for online exams and certification. So here is a question that is based on unused column. So the question is, after executing this altered statement like altered table orders, set unused order underscore date column. Which of the following statement is true? The first option is, that the describe command would still display the order date column. The rollback can be used to get back the order date column. The order date column should be empty to execute this alter statement. After executing this alter table command, you can add a new column called order underscore date to the orders. Let me quickly show you a demo, then we'll see what should be the right answer for this question. So I'm creating a table called t underscore emp. Since the table is just now created, there will not be any record. So I'm just populating three records into this table and I'm committing. As expected, the datas are inserted and committed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to alter this table and setting unused of address1 and address2 column. Now I'm executing this alter statement. It is executed. Let me query from the table. Now what this unset unused column will do is it will mark the column for a logical deletion. Once it is altered, these columns will not appear in any select statement or data dictionary views. That is why it is not appearing here and it cannot be reverted back. Now after this, I'm trying to add another column called address in with the same name to this table. Let me execute this altered table statement. It is executed. Let me query from the table. Now you can see a column called address one is again added to the table, but without any values. Obviously this will be a completely new column, whichever we already marked as a delete or unused will be marked as for a logical deletion. All such columns, whatever we mark for logical deletions, we can drop finally using alter table table name drop unused columns like this. So here is the summary of points to be remembered with respect to unused column. Marking a column as unused will act like a logical delete, but the data will still be there that cannot be reverted back. Unused columns are hidden from all the queries, including select star query, describe command and data dictionary views. All the unused columns can be physically removed later by using this alter table statement like alter table table name drop unused columns. And this approach will be very much helpful if you want to drop multiple columns in a very large table. Instead of dropping one by one, we can mark all the columns as unused and then we can use a bulk drop at the end. If you want to know more details about this, you can watch this video. The link of this video is given in the description. So now that we have seen an example, so I'm sure you'll be able to pick the right answer. So the right answer is after executing the alter table command, you can add a new column called order underscore date to the orders table. As I told, the describe command will not display after this alter statement. We cannot use the rollback because this is a DDL command and the order date column should be empty. It's not necessary that the column should be empty to mark it as a unused columns. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And if you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. And thanks a lot for watching this video.